Health insurance coverage is something that affects all of us. It's a decision that we have to make as business owners to whether to provide it or not to provide it. Unfortunately, health insurance premiums are rising up to 15 to 30 percent a year and causing many business owners to make the decision not to have it. So let's explore two things. Number one, why should you have it? And number two, if you do have it, what are some alternatives to the traditional methods of paying for health insurance? First, why do you need health insurance? I believe there are really only two answers. One, you really want it. You feel like it's the right answer for your employees. You feel like it's important to do as, as just doing the right thing. That's a great reason. Number two, and the second reason why you might need health insurance is because, well, you want to be competitive in the marketplace because in your industry, it's commonly provided. Or B, you just want to attract and retain a higher quality of talent. Both of those are excellent reasons to have health insurance. But can you afford something that's rising at 30% a year that currently takes up 3% of your overall budget? Those are the national statistics for small business. Wiping out profitability in lots of companies. So how do we make sure that we're controlling those costs if, in fact, we're providing health insurance? Well, we at TGG here have, to have created something that we call defined contribution health insurance. And the way that it works is that you as the business owner define the contribution level. Call it 200, call it 400, call it $800 a month. Whatever it is, you define it. And here at TGG, we define our contribution level and then whether or not you're single or married, whether you have kids, old, young, doesn't matter, age, sex, gender, none of that matters, you get those dollars. And then you get those dollars to choose a pool of different health insurance options, an HMO, an HSA, a PPO option, maybe another PPO option. And from that, you may have picked options that are over that dollar limit where you might have to kick in, your employees might have to kick in a couple bucks, or below that dollar min limit where they might have a couple bucks extra to spend on things like vision, dental insurance, or life insurance. But what you have done as the business owner is two things. Number one, you've treated everybody the same. For me, that's a really good feeling. I feel like that's important for me. Secondarily, what you've done as a business owner is you've created a budget that is easily understood for following years. If you don't increase that fixed dollar amount, you know exactly what your health insurance spend is going to be in the following year. Third, and perhaps the most important, you've taken the control back from the insurance companies on how much you're going to spend on health care coverage in upcoming years, and you can guarantee that your business, even if it provides health insurance, is going to be profitable.